This video is a little bit more for the advanced user. So I'm gonna walk through how to download the Playlister app and how to link it into your account. So let's hop over to our Apple TV real quick and we will get going. All right, so we are now at our Apple TV. Um, so to download your um, Playlister app, you need to go to their app store. This uh, blue box here on the screen is your actual Play Store or your Apple App Store. Um, so you will wanna click there and you will have the option up at the top to swipe all the way over and use the magnifying glass to search for Playlister. Um, it does not pull up until you fully get Playlist into it. Um, and usually you have to even have the E in there before it pulls up the correct application. So just go ahead and put Playlister in. Um, there is also the ability to use the Siri remote. I have found that it often puts a space between play and Lister. And so the problem is, is it does not pull up the app. So the best way to do it is to just type in Playlister um, the good old fashioned way. So then once you have typed it in and you've looked it up, you can click and download the app. Um, I've already purchased the app. It's a free app. So you may have to check with your IT representatives from your church um, and make sure that they are fine with you downloading this app, but then you can download the app. It is free, like I said. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it and it's gonna take it a second here to download. And while we're doing that, okay, we're, we are ready to go. So from here, we can go ahead and launch it, but let's just go ahead and make sure that it downloaded to the right place. So let's go all the way down and there is our Playlister app, okay? So now that I've got it launched, it's going to give you a code the first time that you download the app. Um, so what you need to know about the code is this is how you will access your different areas um, to go ahead and program them into your Playlister account on your global scale. So let's hop over to our Playlister account from here. So in this area, under your screens tab, you now have the ability to activate a screen. If you have already purchased the screen and you purchased your set amount that you need, then this should be a very simple process. If you have not purchased your screen, you have to go and purchase your screen first and then you can activate it. So we're gonna go ahead and activate because I have the screen for this, okay? And we need the activation code. So let's hop over to our Apple TV. It is F7GQ. So let's go ahead and hop here. F7GQ. And we are going to hit activate. Okay. Now it may not pull up right away. And what I would encourage you to do at this point is to just go ahead and refresh your screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh here and go to the all screens tab. And you can see that we have one labeled Apple TV. We can see the app version, which is the most up to date. We can see which TV OS it's on, which is the most up to date. And we're gonna go ahead and load in here and it should give us some information. So we can come in and we can go ahead and add tags. Um, if we need to add tags to the TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a ones and twos tag. And then for more information, this is where I would encourage you to go first. So this I'm going to name test TV. Um, that way we can use it for all of our testing here and make sure everything lines up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit rename. And it will take a second. And now we can see here under the name we have test tv it's waiting on sync and it is downloading all of our content so you can see right here we are working on downloading all of our media to our apple tv so i hope this helps in getting your tv set up and connected to your playlister account